Good morning, grade 11. Before I go into the specific information, which is provided in the package you received, I'd like to review how to select your courses on My Blueprint. You will be using My Blueprint to select your courses. You might remember this from last year. You will go to your My Site, look for the My Blueprint icon, and click on it. Once you've done that, you'll go to the dashboard and choose High School from the left-hand side. Once you've chosen High School, that will bring you to the planning page. This is where you will add courses for next year by clicking on the add symbol. You will be looking at the grade 12 column. Once you click on the add symbol, it will open a drop down menu with course selections for you. Notice in this screen, we are in English and you will be choosing the correct stream that will be required for your pathway. Read the descriptor to make sure you are selecting the correct course and look for any prerequisites that are required. You will also be able to check whether or not you are on track for graduation. You can review your graduation summary under the graduation indicator. Click on view progress to see your personalized chart. When you are in your personalized chart, you will able to see which compulsory credits you have already earned and what is still outstanding. You should be referring to this to make sure that you have proper credit accumulation and proper compulsory credits to meet, to meet graduation requirements. Use the personal planning chart to help map out your pathway and course selections. All right, looking at specific information, which can also be found in your package. Grade 12s, you might be deciding how many courses do I need to select. The number of courses you select depends on how many courses you have earned so far. To be a full-time student, students must have a minimum of three courses per semester on their timetable. To be a part-time student, students must have a minimum of two courses per semester on their timetable. Please refer to the graduation summary found on Aspen to determine how many credits you will need to reach. You are able to take spares if you are on track for graduation. Hence, this is why we say three courses per semester, which makes you full-time, or two courses per semester if you have been reaching ahead and taking courses in the summer. In order to earn your Ontario Secondary School Diploma, you must earn 30 credits. You must have successful completion of the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test or have passed the Ontario Literacy Course. You must have completed 40 Christian service hours and either completed two e-learning courses or had your parent or guardian sign the opt-out form. You are strongly encouraged to earn hours over the March break or during the summer if you have not already done so. Are there courses that should be included? Yes. Religion, either HRE 4M or HRE 401, and English for you or English 4C or English 4E depending on your pathway. If you are a university bound student, mixed religion is a university qualifying course and may be included in your six courses for university admissions. Those who are college bound or workplace bound are advised to select open religion. What courses should you include? Well, again, that depends on where you are but also any other compulsory credits that are listed on the planning chart. Please make sure that you check your groups one, two, and three, and that you have either earned those credits or on, are on track to earn those credits. Please refer to your graduation summary as this will help you to ensure you have met all of the compulsory requirements. Again, enough courses to equal 30, 12 of them electives, and 18 compulsory. 
What are some university requirements for programs? Those of you who are interested in an arts, social science, or humanities program will require grade 12 university qualifying English, which is your English for you, and five other grade 12 university qualifying courses, which include both mixed level or university level courses. Please remember that for all university programs, it is six for you 4M courses that are required in order for you to be eligible to apply. If you are interested in business programs, you will require grade 12 English for you, two or three grade 12 university qualifying math courses. That is data for you, functions for you, and calculus for you. Please remember that you must take MCR 3U in order to qualify for functions and you must complete functions for you before you can take calculus for you. We will be scheduling the functions in first semester and the calculus in second semester if you require both of those courses, plus additional courses to equal the six for you 4M courses. If you are interested in science or engineering type programs, grade 12 university qualifying English is required two of the three grade 12 university qualifying math courses, usually functions and calculus, two of the three grade 12 university qualifying sciences, usually chemistry and physics for engineering. If it is a science biology type based program, then it will be the biology. Health science programs, grade 12 university qualifying English, grade 12 university qualifying math, usually it is any one of the three math courses and two of the three grade 12 university qualifying sciences. Please take the time to plan and research universities and their programs. University admissions, as I said, are a total of six grade 12 URM courses, which make you eligible to apply. The prerequisites for the specific programs must also be included in your six grade 12 U or M courses. Admission averages required for university programs vary by university and program, but most are above a 75% average. And some of the very competitive programs require a 90% average just to be considered with an additional supplemental application. Please go to www.ontariouniversitiesinfo.ca for specific university program details. If you are college bound, the college requirements for admission vary depending on college and program of study. Most college programs identify specific required courses for their respective programs. Your final grades in these courses, rather than your overall average, are very important for admission to most colleges. Some programs may also require additional things, such as portfolios of drawings, questionnaires, or assessments. Please go to www.ontariocolleges.ca for specific college program details. Some specific information for college-bound students. Most Ontario colleges do not give bonus marks if students have university-bound courses. This means that U courses are not regarded more favorably than college-bound courses. If you are applying to a competitive college program, please consider switching to English 4C as this may be in your best interest. Many colleges now also offer four-year degree programs. These degree programs offered through Ontario colleges, however, have the same university requirements as um, university programs. That is, you would still need the grade 12 for you, 4M courses and six of those. If you are applying to an oversubscribed program, so if it is a program that has more applicants than seats, then it is in your best interest to make sure you have completed the required courses in semester one. When you receive your timetable, please come see, see me and we will look to make sure. College program requirements. 
Applied arts programs typically require English 4C. Business re programs require English 4C and college level math, grade 12. Some might require mixed level from grade 11. Again, please check specific requirements. Technology programs require English 4C, grade 12 math, and some require MCT 4C and additional senior science courses. Some healthcare programs require English 4C, grade 12 math, some might require mixed math, or the Math for College Technology, MCT 4C, and two senior sciences. Please remember that if you would like to take Math for College Technology, that requires the mixed level math to be completed in grade 11. If you are a workplace bound student, Please think about the type of work that you would like to be doing and consider taking co-op if you haven't already done so. If you are considering an apprenticeship, the Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program is an excellent option for you. Please come to the guidance office and speak to the co-op teachers for more information. SHSM and co-op. Please remember that we have the SHSM program with many different sectors that are available to you. It is not too late to register as a grade 12 student. If you are interested in being an SHSM student, please make an appointment to see Mr. Giovanangeli for more details. However, you must take co-op in order to be an SHSM student. So again, please select co-op if you are planning to do so and make an appointment to see Mr. Giovanangeli. The new Ministry e-learning graduation requirement. Your cohort is expected to have studied two e-learning courses. There are 31 e-learning courses for you to choose from on my blueprint under the e-learning discipline. You may choose only one e-learning course per year. If you are not fond of e-learning courses, then there is the option to opt out. The e-learning opt-out form can be found in the guidance office. There, there's a list here of the proposed HWCDSB e-learning courses, which are also in your package. Please take a look at that list as there might be some options that might not be available in day school, such as the child development and gerontology course. All right, registration. When is it and what do you need? Your registration due date is Monday, March 4th. Please complete your registration to select your courses on my blueprint. A reminder that once you submit your courses, you can no longer go back on to make changes. So please make sure that you are certain that those are the courses that you want to submit. There is an activity fee of $50. Please make sure that you have the receipt confirming payment through school cash online. Cash and checks will not be accepted. Verification of your registration form with any updates to personal information will be done electronically and please keep information for your own personal records. We will not be actually collecting any physical pieces. Thank you so much. I know that you might have some questions after hearing all of this information. Please book an appointment uh, and come and see me in guidance. I'm happy to sit with you, pathway plan, look at prerequisites and help you make the best decisions uh, for your future. I'm happy to sit with you and talk that through. Thank you, take care.